Good morning. Uh, let's go. Um, today, a uh, little bit, a little bit slow to start this morning. My brain is still getting in gear. Uh, I wanted to talk about. I can't remember how I was gonna start this, but the food here is so unbelievably cheap like inexpensive cheap not like cheap quality um you're just you're not, i i know i know you're sitting there and you're not gonna believe the words that i say but i can tell you it is real it is real um i spent yesterday hold on let me let me let me make sure this is accurate. I, I can't remember what I got for lunch or how much, I think it was, oh, what did I order? Oh, I think it was 35 ringgit. So I've, I've been going to this um, like health food restaurant. So, okay. <laughs> We're getting there. Um, the hotel is right next to this like food court uh, shopping mall, I guess you could say. Uh, the way I would describe this is it's very like business park. The location is very much like business park. So um, there's this other like shopping mall, two levels, um, has a bunch of restaurants and this big food court with a whole bunch of like, you got Asian food, uh, it's all Asian food. Um, actually there is one Western, it says Western food. Uh, you got steaks, fries, burgers, um, <laughs> carbonara. Um, so it's not just the U S um, Thai food, Viet Vietnamese, Chinese, um, whole bunch of, there are like 15 different, um, little restaurants in this food court. And so I've been going to this health food, uh, restaurant. And I can't remember, it might've been 30, something like 36. So I paid, I've been going there every day, basically for lunch. And I'm going there because it's the, the quality of the food, or not the quality, the contents of the food in the food court isn't like super healthy. Um, but this like health food store or health food restaurant is like really good. So I had this bowl with quinoa, broccoli, seaweed, pickled ginger, uh, raw salmon, uh, sunflower seed or uh, pumpkin seeds, and like uh, seaweed. I think it's like really good, really good. And I paid, I can't remember the exact, but I think I paid 36 ringgit, which basically you divide by, it's about five. Um, so I paid about seven seventy-five between seven and eight dollars for this bowl, which is the up. I got the upsized bowl, so I got like the big bowl. And then the food in this food court, like I don't, I I, I still don't understand. I got a a thing of rice that was probably like this big, and then this big like clay pot and. And it was chicken and eggplant and a, a couple other like mixed veggies. It was 1380 ringgit, which is two US dollars and 97 cents. And then yesterday, so it's like, it's a decent meal, but like I'm trying to bulk up. So I needed a little bit more. And so this lunch place that I've been going to, they sell or they, they have a rewards program. So after you spend 35 ringgit, which is between seven and eight US dollars, three times, you get a free, like, um, not the upsize bowl, like the little bowl or a sandwich for free. And so after, yes, after I spent 297 for dinner, I went back to the health food place and I bought uh, a side of watermelon and then I redeemed my free um, bowl and I paid two, uh, sorry, I paid, 
310. I paid 67 cents. And let me show let me just show you. <laughs> okay, so this is the this is the that's what I got for dinner at the food court. And then this is this is my 67 cent meal. I paid six like I walked out of there and I was like, am I dreaming? Like is this is this real life? I just paid 67 cents for this. For that? I don't know. <laughs> so like the other thing is this is very like not touristy. Uh, like I said, it's very much a business park. Um, tons of like big, tall office buildings around here. So every work day at noon, the food court is literally packed. Everyone's like wearing like, uh, like a dress shirt or like a dress. Um, everybody's got like a lanyard on. Um, and so yeah, not touristy at all. It's, this is another level. <laughs> this is another level of living. Um, what else was I gonna say? The food. So I'm, I'm warming up to the idea of staying here longer. I just haven't made my decision yet. Um, I'm gonna give it a couple more days and then do my analysis. Um, I'm curious what it would, oh, this is the other thing I was gonna say. I'm curious what it would be like, like an, at an Airbnb or something. Um, but anyway, that's, let me, I'm not gonna analyze that yet. Give me another couple couple days. But I will say, one thing I've noticed um, on the kind of work and focus front is that I've been finding it a lot easier to work in the afternoons here. And I was trying to figure that out. I wanted to see if I could figure it out here. So I work, uh, basically four, uh, three hours and 45 minutes, um, four hours in the morning. After this, I, it's usually eight to noon and then I eat lunch. And lately I've been going back from lunch and going back onto my laptop. I either go up to the rooftop, which is the views are gorgeous here. Um, and like work until four, it ends up being like maybe two, two to four, one thirty to four, um, sometimes four thirty, and then I'll do my workout between four thirty five to six ish, um, depending on what I do. And it's really interesting because when I was in Bali, I had a lot of trouble working in the afternoons. I think I was, I always felt weighed down by lunch. And I think this is the, this is my other theory is that because the hostel I was co-working hostel I was staying in wasn't like open air. Um, I think the heat drained my energy more than I thought because here everything is like everything is air conditioned, which is amazing. <laughs> uh, as you can see here, I blast the AC every night. Uh, it rained yesterday, so this is all on that. The fog is all on the outside. So I think it's like for, I feel like the inputs are the food and the environment. And, and maybe the other thing is like the type of work. And so I, like I have been feeling I have been getting to the point where I feel like my brain is fried and like I can't focus anymore and I need to, you know, uh, go work out or take a break. But I've noticed these lunches, I haven't felt 
weighed down, even though I've had some carbs in, I, does quinoa have carbs? I feel like quinoa is like the hack. I've been subbing the brown rice or the rice for quinoa and oh, it's so good. But I don't feel weighed down after after lunch. And then yesterday I got a bubble tea. Oh, it's totally not healthy, but I got a, oh, let me show you, let me show you. I got a bubble tea. Also, I figured out uh, the US calls it boba, typically on the West Coast, but in Asian countries, they call it bubble tea. Or maybe not call it, but it's like the, the term is more used. Um, Okay, where's my, this? Wait, how much, let me, let me, how much was this? It was 850 ringgit, which is a dollar and 83 cents. And it was probably the best bubble tea boba thing that I've ever had. Like, it's actually really good. I don't understand, and they have, uh, anyway, I don't understand how any of this works, but I'm here and I'm loving it. <laughs> uh, so the caffeine from that might have helped yesterday boost me in the afternoon. But so food, I don't feel weighed down by lunch. The environment, it might be the AC and not being like extremely hot and sweating. And then the type of work, it might be, give me like a week, a week and a half, and I will hopefully report back. But right now I'm doing a lot of things that are, I mean, yesterday felt like required a little bit of thought, but um, I feel like I'm, I'm doing a lot more busy work, but things that are actually helpful but things that just need to get done rather than, you know, a lot of deep thinking kind of stuff. Um, I'm not quite sure about that, but I've been working yesterday and the day before I've been working on adding projections, future projections to my budget spreadsheet. And wow, this is super helpful. So basically, I won't try and explain it all because it's like there's so many inputs and options and like the way you project or for me the way I project expenses for something like uh, eating out is different from something like housing like for paying for a hotel uh, so it's it like so uh, it's so complicated but <laughs> but basically projecting, looking, ba uh, looking back on f past transactions and recent transactions, what, it, what am I projected to spend? Uh, and that is super helpful. But again, I, it's more like, that's more like spreadsheet math than like deep thought. So anyway, I think that's, that's my video for today. Talked about the food is not insanely cheap, uh, but you get also, what I wanted to explain is you get good quality. Um, actually, while I'm here looking at photos, here was my $7, $8 lunch. Salmon, salmon in the middle, avocado, carrot, corn, seaweed, pumpkin seeds, pickled ginger, a little bit of lettuce on top of quinoa for s between seven and eight US dollars. Like this, this thing should be like probably $23 at a health food store in, U in the US, I don't know. So food is insanely cheap. And then um, this area is like a business park kind of thing. And feeling like I'm able to be more productive in the afternoons and have more, like I feel like I have more focus and energy, which is interesting and I like it. So anyway, that is my video. See you tomorrow. Bye.